Yeah, it looks like it looks like what's going to be happening is we're going to see uh, top and mid shove out for UCSE, but have bot shoved in. And both junglers looking bot for this going to be doing what looks like standard six camp clears. So we could see a fight break out bot lane pretty soon here. Yone going to hit an E, get some decent poke. Rakan goes in on the W. Poopy Worm getting ignited, walking back. Junior Bro. walking back as well. Bro. And camera cuts away to Melodia, two levels up on uh, Irsen here. Looks like the Vladimir is also running, is also running towards bot lane, maybe looking to get a, a good little 4v3 here with Ari shoved in on the mid lane. Melodia going in versus Irsen, and they're going to be trading. Uh, Yuda going to get... Oh, Yuda actually not going to get hit by the Rakan W. Uh, one on leaf going in super hard on poopy worm poopy worm going low flash and a kill over to one on leaf but in return ash dies to last tempest and now uh USC ud is looking a little bit shoved out uh rakan gonna flash away get away with the w uh kusho gonna be coming down not gonna be able to get much of anything here it looks like somehow one autumn leaf did actually get away on the low health so it's gonna be just a one for one in the bot lane and back to normal All right, looks like Noah's left for a little bit because he's got some technical difficulties. I will, of course, be picking up all the slack. I am awesome. Oh, hello there. Looks like we've got another caster to be joining us. Um, uh, they should sorry, hello, soon. hello? Can you yep, guys yep. hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So, I've been just watching the first game, I should say, of the games. Went pretty good. The bot side trap is going pretty good. Oh, um... Sorry for this. I'm back. I'm here to step in for Noah Bot. Mockyru coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. I was just chilling and jo with Joy Ninja. You know, talking about the game. You know, so far, yeah, yeah, nothing that interesting going on. It's uh going to be. But as what we both come to conclusion is that left side draft has zero damage and we will just outscale. Uh, sounds about right. Honestly, I mean. Uh, the Ash, the Ash Ari could be a little bit dangerous if Yone okay. mi if Yone misses the ult here. But other than that, it does look like uh, UCSC has a bit more of a scaling comp. Yeah. So and I'm right also. Oh, as the Yone goes in. Yone goes in, the... misses the Q three, but he's gonna get a little bit of chunk on both of them. Uh, that Yone E showing off just how, just how ridiculous it is. Hey, hold up, flight. You're gonna do play by play, or you do color cast? I'll just do color cast, I guess. For you now. Do color if you, cast? Now, that, now that you're here, I can. Now that you're here, I can just focus on just saying color things. Cast? All right, I'll do. Was I'll do the play by play. But honestly, the thing is about was it Yone? I was interested. He did not start Doran Shield. Was it? And I'm like, there is no way you don't go Doran Shield in this matchup. But I guess he's he's like, kind of call, he's confident enough. Yeah, to, oh, he didn't. Looks like Red's, looks like uh, UCSC going to be taking the Void Grubs here. Maybe we're going to see a response from the uh, Rams onto the Drake. Yeah, I was well, it most of the time I do think the Grubs are worth it to go. But once you play, once you play more and more, was well, it play more and more games, you kind of you kind of stand to see that if you're playing a scaling comp, you would rather just go for Drakes because that's what you're trying to go for anyway. So it's not was well, it. It just depends on what your team is going to go for or what your team comp wants. And, but most of the time, I think Grubs are too overrated to go for in a competitive setting. Yeah, I think I think it was... It, the camera didn't pan to it, but it was pretty well played by Piney. Uh, the wave was actually shoved... Although you can't really see it, the wave was actually shoved in mid, uh, blocking Kusho off from getting to the Drake, so they couldn't take the Drake in response to oh, seeing the Void Grubs. Yeah, in popular opinion, um, I honestly think the left side draft is just going to get eaten alive by the by the right side draft that when it comes to the third drake because melodia as a mordekaiser can always was well, a fend off any kind of threat to his backline and their backline is self-sufficient themselves which is really nice for them to have yeah i i think a lot of this is going to depend on how much uh kusho and autumn leaf can roam towards top because this orn this Orn's wave state is uh, not the greatest right now, and it's going to need some correcting. Otherwise, Melodia will just eventually go up like 20 CS on this Orn. Okay, Melodia using the Death Realm. 
All right, Melodia um, uses the Death Realm and he's gonna look for an all in. Go, was it? And the Orn is gonna get chased down by the Ghost. But there is a gank from the Ramus, but this Ramus is of, of, of course all armor, so he won't be able to do anything. Waste an ultimate, and Melodia, Melodia gets out scot free. As he pulls the Ramus in, I don't know what the Ramus is doing, but he's gonna go into hardened form. He uses hardened and he's gonna take multiple hits from the Mordekaiser. And. Melodia will have to use the W to sustain, but all, all in all, it's a positive for UCSC. Uh, you are gonna be taking this chance, seeing the Ram's top. He's gonna be looking at the. He's gonna be looking to seal buffs on the bot side, and it looks like he gets out pretty free. Uh, Tempest gonna be taking a plate bot side as well, so taking good advantage of the fact that On Leaf was top there. Yeah, last time is staying true to his name, playing only Yasuo and Yone. He's gonna be playing, so I guess Yone Senna is gonna be a pretty stable bot lane for the side of UC SC White. And of course, the Vladimir one trick himself, Heine, is gonna be playing his patented Vladimir in the bot lane, or in the mid lane, I mean. Vladimir bot lane sounds interesting. You have personal <laughs> experience with this? Oh, I have many personal experience with it. Let's just say, uh, you know, he decided to go support in one of our games. Oh um, no, I am so sorry for your loss. <laughs> He's a big man, big lips. Let's just say he did not lift big that game. Let's just say he decided to not lift. He lifted nothing that game. But all in all, was it going well in this lane so far? Uh, anyway, going back to the going back to the game here, it looks like a pretty. It looks like pretty soon the Void Grubs will be up. I think in an, a minute and a half right now. Uh, so that's probably going to be what uh, UCSC is looking for here because they know that if they get six Void Grubs, it's a, it's pretty huge for their team because if they have one split laner, uh, towers are just going to disappear. So now I think it's like I found a counter to... I'm looking at this matchup and I'm like, man, I'm finding everything to go against Heartsteel. Look at that! What can the Orn do? He just thought, well, he's going to use W against the E, but or Mordekaiser just smashed him over and over again. Yeah, I think also pretty important to note that although there haven't been any kills, we're seeing some pretty significant CS gaps uh, on the side of UCSC here. Uh, 20 CS in mid lane, looks like 30 CS in top lane, and uh, Ramus currently has no camps up, so Graves will be about 12 CS up. Yeah, the thing is, is it, I'm pretty sure the UCSC with this, as well, Ramus goes in with an ultimate, Ramus uses Harden, and he's going to get stunned up, charmed up, and Poopy Worm is going to go down. But Last Tempest has an ultimate, lands a two-man ultimate onto the Ramus, and the, and the Rakan gets a kill back, and Ian is just going to go over, over in. But Piney flashes for the kill, as it's going to be a triple kill, maybe? Yeah, it's going to be a triple kill for the side of UCSC, as <laughs> the Ash lets the minion finish the job. And, or also has to flash. Will Mord go for the all in? Does not. So it's the two for zero, two for one for side of UCSC. I think it's that Mord did go for the all in, but he didn't. Uh, Orn did manage to get away in time. Yeah, I do believe so. Because we see we see it, both ults missing. Uh, Melodia use uses tel. I'm assuming Melodia used his teleport, went in, uh, immediately ran in on Rusen here. Yeah. So or it Rusen. seems like it seems like Melodia right now is. Doing pretty well. He's up 40 CS in this matchup, which he should be. Oh no, the Ramus! Look out! Uh, but I think Ramus going for the top gank here. But I don't. They were trying to get the kill over to the Ramus, but I don't know. Kill on any of them just seems such a waste. You know, don't you think? I mean, wh what's going to happen eventually? As Noah said, as Noah Bot said earlier, uh, what's going to happen eventually is Orn's going to get that chaotic return, and he's going to become nigh unkillable for Mordekaiser. Although you may have max percent uh, health damage on Mordekaiser, you don't have enough damage to deal with a 450 health shield that regenerates every 12 seconds. So yeah. eventually that lane is just going to be a full wash. And okay, looks like um, Yuna's going to get caught out a bit here. A kill over to Ash is just huge as the kill does go to the Ash. I think Ian just was too fast on doing it. Mordekaiser just reset. Oh no, he just respawned, so he doesn't have any top prior. And the mid prior isn't even in stone because was it? Uh, they brought their whole balling over here, and it looks, looks like Tiny like is going to become bot. We're going to try to see a dive on Kusho here. Uh, he does actually get hit. The Spirit Rush comes out, and no kill on Kusho yet. Uh, yeah, and then the Ash ultimate goes wide, yep, but Kusho is arrow. very Come low. In. Kusho is very low. He has to go back right now, where he's going to lose even more minions and more XP. But they're going to rotate their balling over, over to cover. However, that's just more... And, and UCSC is just getting far ahead with the macro play. Yep, we see Piney. We see Piney uh, going mid, taking some pretty uninhibited plates uh, in the mid lane. He's got what looks like one plate so far. 
Yeah, it seems to be. I think it's two plates, but you know, it doesn't make too much of a difference. It's just 125 gold for each plating. The thing about grubs is, I guess, having four grubs makes it so that it's easier. It's more worth it to go for these plays where you're... Like plays where you're pushing turrets, especially with the bots, they turn fully down, which means that means they're up for another a thousand gold. And, uh, as a side as a side effect, it also means that because of the bot uh, the bot turret being uh, completely destroyed on the side of uh, USPCH, um, it does mean that they're not really going to be able to contest drakes that easily with uh, all the waves constantly pushing into them. Yeah, and Melodia just gets two free plates for uh, two free plates there as well as. Pravians, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what the MR item is called, but... It's, it's called it's Canic a... Rickern, and essentially what it does is it gives that's you... That's not Canic Rickern. No, that's not Canic Rickern. Oh, that's the uh, yeah. Hollow Radiance. That's Hollow oh. Radiance. It's a uh, Sunfire, but magic resist. Yeah, Joy calls it useless. I think it's still useful in some areas, um, because especially in this matchup where you still want the wave clear, and uh, was it... So that you can do things like this on Orn. I think it's still useful, especially if you go into team fights. You do want to get as maximum amount of burst damage as possible as the Orn. So it'll be useful in those types of areas. But of course, I mean, it's kind of hard to get into a team fight when Piney is just going in. We but he's gonna like, he's negative he's damage here. Dodges it, and Mad Piney is gonna go full charm up. And Chain of Crystal Arrow. Up, but the, the Chain of Crystal Arrow is gonna hit the Senna, so he won't be able to find any follow up as Last Tempest is going in. But the Rakan is just gonna go over, but the old land doesn't land anything. But he's taunted on the tower, and he might he's gonna get charmed up. So the, Junior is gonna get take the kill. Looks like the only fate sealed Junior, there was Yone's. Oh, Never mind. No, so he gets wait, the ignite. Wait, so what? He gets, the, he gets the ignite, so he gets the kill, and big man big lives. I think no, last tempest is the one who secures the kill. Interesting. Uh, I honestly, I'm not quite sure why they went for that, considering Ooh, uh, Big, Man Big, Big, Lich, but Big Man Big Lifts is gonna take the kill as he goes into pull again, masterfully dodging it, and he takes him out of the Orn ulti. The Orn ulti doesn't hit as Melodia now is. Is he gonna pop ghost to chase him down? He is not going to. He's just gonna look for Ian to back him up as Flash again out from the Orn is gonna take him to safety. Yeah, I just like to point out. I know we can't get replays here, but I just like to point out for the replay. Uh, for the replay of that fight. That I'm not actually sure why Kusha went in because they saw that Piney. Okay, I don't had know the why Rakan's here because Rakan's gonna get. Yeah, this is not your jungle buddy anymore. It's ours. Uh, Irson going on going in on a low health Melodia could be a kill here if he's. Yeah, oh, I think it is a kill, but that's oh, gonna be a kill. Nah, good eat oh, by no. the well, Melodia. Nah, still good ghost. He might get pop. Nah, he, I think he's fine. He can just walk out into the snow. Yeah. Look at that in top lane. He gets out masterfully, and you know, oh. Mel Nah, 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 nah. There's Call of the Avengers, getting, they're all here! Getting, getting, getting ganked by three here. Uh, we see one on Leaf and Junior coming up for the counter gank here. Uh, Enchanted Crystal Arrow coming in, goes oh, wide oh, again. We see a teleport from Kusho as well. Look like uh, Kusho going in, Spirit Rush, Ooh. Spirit Rush 2. Uh, looking like they might get a kill on Poopy Worm here. Nope, Poopy Worm does get out. What on him Leaf has to go because he's getting hit by the turret. Okay. Uh, big man, big lift going in, Piney. <laughs> Piney not actually seeing any kills yet. One kill to Piney. Uh, looks like Junior's also going to be dying here to the Piney. Nah, it wasn't. I think that was just so scrappy. The people are just getting though that there's just a flank one after the other. And I think Ash there just decided to go ahead and <laughs> run it down for. Was it run it down missing all his enchanted crystal for fun? I don't know. It just seems like they, they, they're just so miscoordinated because um, at first there was the gank on the Orn. And then there was just no follow. Was like there was no follow up from Senna. And then what happens afterwards is just a huge was it a huge fuck fest where Poopy Worms now just here again for fun. Usho probably gonna get probably just gonna be dying here. No Spirit Rush available, and that's gonna be the Vladimir taking him down under the turret. Yeah, I just I I don't know if you're was it. There's no I pretty there's no vision to signify where Senna was. So that was a good dive by UCSC. But Ari, I was it one they saw he saw Vladimir was stacking ways and pushing in. I think she should have seen that coming. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's oh, a fair ass assessment of the situation here. Uh the, like the real question the real question here is gonna be this third mountain drake here, because if this third mountain drake goes over oh, to yeah, uh UCSC, it, it, they're gonna become pretty unkillable here. I think the problem here is that there's just so many I don't I think this is just a laning issue. I think it's just there's just too many too much skill gap. In lanes and also there's no winning lane per se like lucia was it ash rakan ash isn't really known for winning any lane she's on more of a neutralizer and give utility ari also pretty much the same thing she doesn't do damage unless she goes damage items which 
nowadays who does that on Ari? She's more of a utility champion. And even if she does, she, she goes damaging item. She doesn't give, give that much damage. As there's going to be an Ornn ultimate coming in. You're saying going to get, get taken out. One on him, Leaf going in with the Ramazol. But Fate Sealed going to be hit. And and Piney on the Vladimir going to be going down, and taking some of them down. Getting 25 stacks on that Medjai's. And I'm gonna be honest. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure how the uh, CSUDH team wins this anymore. Yeah, they got outscaled, um, which is kind of funny to say, right? If they have Orn, Ramus, or the how are they gonna get outscaled? But there's just not much damage on the enemy team. And when you have dam, when you don't have damage, which you kind of need to kill off the members in the enemy team. When they have something like Vladimir, they have Mord, they have Yone. You need damage. You're not going to get scot free with this kind of draft on the left side. I think more than anything else, it's that there's they're not focusing enough on Piney on the Vladimir because if Vladimir gets off like a single ult rotation, uh, there's a very real chance that Nana Ben is just going to get one shotted, and we see Junior actually uh, overextending a little bit of his own jungle, but does manage to get out. The problem with that is that there's no point in click CC for them. There's nothing to like lock them down. So unless you hit Ash from like hit an Asher from like ten million far away as Junior gets taken down, there's no real like there's really no what is it? Pick potential as they're just gonna disengage from the fight. Like you know what I'm saying, right? There's nothing to lock yeah. down this Vladimir in their comp. Uh, just just for the just for the audience at home, uh, Makrio, if if you were to do, if you were to redo this draft by CSUDH, how, what would you have done differently uh, on some of these picks here? Uh, first of all, I think Ari's kind of useless. Um, so I wouldn't. I don't know. I I don't know the pick order right? as there is a fight in balling. But this is what uh, I mean, right? Yeah. Look at yeah. that. He just he now, just presses pull and ultimate. He just does everything back up. Yeah, Vladimir just spreads everyone now. He's on twenty minutes max Menjai. Like this is a bad example, of course, because he's already fed, right? But this is what I mean. There's nothing to lock up Vladimir. So maybe I'll take like I'll think like Lissandra, right? It gives prio, but also lock can CC lock up Vladimir. Something like Malzar. Honestly, I don't hate Malzar. Oh, is it Malzar here? If you're playing to scale, right? Of course, everyone's like, I mean, oh, Malzar is so boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's it's not. It's better than Ari in terms of getting utility at this point. Personally, yeah, personally, I agree with you on the Lissandra pick there. I think they need. They definitely needed some form of point and click, and I think the Ramus picks could have been something maybe a little more bruisery as opposed to a tank. Uh, I think. Viego probably wouldn't have been bad here into the Yone Graves Mord because they do ha they are like full melee comp so they have to go in. But here's the fight uh, around Baron. Uh, Fate Sealed is going to be hitting three there. Everybody flashed now. Kusho dead. Uh, and one on Leaf barely trying to survive till the smite, but he is not going to make it. Yone getting a quadra kill. Is that going to be a penta kill for Tempest? Penta kill for Last Tempest, showing off the Yone Yasuo skills. Holy, and that's going to be Baron over to UCSC. Yeah, very well played from Lose. They saw the instant turn. They saw the people. They saw that they weren't all ready, so they just instantly turned. As there's a three man bump fist in the, for the Riot Games. Um, but like this is what I'm saying, right? There's no real way to start a fight. Also, I when you considered Diego, I was thinking more of like Udir because you still want Lose. I think yeah, you still ooh, need Udir could have been good. Yeah, Lose. But I think Udir is still like too niche in jungle for people to be like. Like, because right now he's more known as a top laner, right? So everyone's like, kind of like, eh, is Udyr jungle still good? I assure you, it's still pretty good to giving you, I was like, giving the still unique because you need the lockdown. Uh, wow, he's ulting in on four of them. Uh, uh, Ramus might want to roll on back to base here as he uh, goes in with the Ramus ult and immediately gets shut down. Uh, Piney say... pushing in mid lane here. Let's just say PayPal. Angle goes hard. <laughs> oh, no, 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 need, no need to be rude. No need to be rude. <laughs> Who does that? He just jumped into four people. He just got. He, well, he just jumps into four people and just dies. No, like, like that's such a PayPal angle. As as now, was well, Big Man Big Lifts is gonna. You're, you're... Uh, Melodia versus Irison in the bot as well. Uh, Piney gonna be going mid here. They're gonna be taking the inhib, and I don't actually think they're gonna be getting much more here unless they go and. Yone Q3 misses. He's gonna have to fall back. Piney, oh my god. Piney gonna be just absolutely erasing Junior from existence. He's gonna keep going in. Uh, that Hemo play did hit, but he's pretty low. Never mind, it's Vladimir. I forgot. Uh, he's not low at all. Yone gonna be getting a bunch of them with the Q3. He's gonna be dying <laughs> to the turret. Uh, 
a little bit too far there, Last Tempest. That was the last Tempest you will be firing this game, probably, if things continue as they are. Uh, Irson and Nanaben making a valiant effort here. Oh, no, looks like UCSE is going to be backing off here. Not confident in their ability to win the 3v3. They're just going to be going for the soul. Yeah, no, I mean, you know, grabbing the soul, getting your, or like getting, doing your due diligence is probably the best for this team right now. They already have two pushing lanes, so one more fight means they just kind of end the game, but they're already up 18k gold. They, honestly, I, I don't think this is a draft issue. It's more of a skill issue. Um, we can clearly see they were just losing every single lane. So I'm thinking there must be a rank, a huge rank difference between these, uh, between these uh, laners. The, the average rank difference is about uh, one full division. Yeah, exactly. There's just, well, there's just. Oh, huge Pani rank. actually getting completely caught out here. He's gonna be. He, yeah. Uh, the Ornold's gonna just completely whiff. Is what happened if you uh, uh anyway uh failed there was a failed engage on the the piney on vlad melodia going in he's got the ult up if anybody is within range of him they are just going to die instantly unless it's irison yeah see this is the problem like this is the problem that i'm seeing they just don't have enough lock on as, melodia, I say that. as, as you say that uh melodia does get locked down piney does hit the what looks like the five man hero play gonna be regening yeah. up to full uh, going back in with the Vladimir oh, E, he's gonna okay. be one-shotting him. Oh my god. Are we just training Pentas or what? Like, everyone's just getting you Penta Quadra kills every single fight? I guess that's what happens uh, when you have- Fate Sealed not gonna hit. Fate, difference. <laughs> Fate Sealed gonna be uh, a little wide there, but it doesn't matter as Vladimir gets the kill. And this game is going to be over. 1-0 uh, to UCSE. Dang, I kind of trusted the enemy team to like actually play out their comp, and they didn't. And I bet 500 points on them. So G- Tristana. So... Or, well, discounting Calibrum, because Calibrum, but... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just have yeah, to see how it goes. Kinda, we're looking to do some sort of, uh, you know, Bush Cheese level 1, uh, but it looks like not going to be able to find anything for CSUDH. Uh, UCSC just doing kind of a 5-point, or not really a 5-point, but, you know. Yeah, I would like I would like to point out that you see, uh, you see Last Tempest here on one of the premier karma strats of hold Mantra Q in uh, the first bush and fire off a Mantra Q at whoever comes in range of you and poke them for a decent amount of time. Yep, uh, Piney just going immediately nope, yep. in. You can already see the Lux just does not know how to deal with that. Yep, just not a lot that they can do. I mean, probably just going to be trying to farm and maybe get off some a little bit of harass, but having to stand their tower and probably just hold the root for what Tristana goes in. Yeah. Uh, uh, it looks like one bit, one, uh, one autumn leaf now doing, maybe looking to do a double, double camp into like going up top. I don't know. Maybe it looks like maybe just a full clear right now, but we'll see. Yeah, Ari Sexual, Ari Sexual, uh, just would like to point out that Ari Sexual did start on Wolves and is currently pathing a uh, blue into Grom. So they're probably going to be looking for a level three gank top into uh, Irsir, which could turn out interesting. Yeah, uh, I don't quite know what the lane state is right now. We just saw it, but I didn't get a look at the minions. But it looked like uh, Melodia was pushing the Jax off of the wave. Um, so we have Nano Ben getting the level 2 first. He's going to be bringing down Last Tempest to about a third health. Uh, you're seeing the Aphelios level 2. They didn't respect it properly, and they got a bit chunked out for it. Pearson getting pushed in. I'm not really sure what Arisexual does from here. They're, just, they're probably just going to go back bot and just look to clear all their camps. Uh, yeah, you're pushing I mean... out Last Tempest a little bit. Yeah, the timing was a little off. Now the wave is pushing back towards Melodia, or at least it should be. But yeah, I mean, just was a little bit, you know, almost like too too fast. Maybe if they had started bot and were pathing up now, it would have been better for a gank. But now they're going bot. Uh, the wave will be bouncing away from UCSD, though, uh, once it crashes. So we'll have to see. Maybe they're just trying to shadow, maybe expecting some sort of dive, though. Could be warm is full. This wave, this wave state looking particularly dangerous. You see Piney in the mid lane is going to be pushing in the wave. They they might be looking to go bot here if uh, Nano Ben and Junior don't back off. Yeah, I think that they're just trying to crash the wave right now and maybe take a reset or just let it push back into them. But I think they'll be able to do it. Yeah, it's going to crash, so they should be fine. Um, yeah, so far pretty quiet, all things considered. Um, Jack's now up about 10 CS, but that's going to should get equalized pretty quickly when Melodia takes that wave. And yeah, uh, oh. so far, I th I, good job actually. I gotta say, for UCSC's bot lane, uh, oh, Poopy Worm's looking in, pops the ghost. Oh. And wait, okay, yeah, I, and, and uh, is, is gonna pick up Banner Reed. So, first blood for UCSC, Poopy Worm going aggressive on the Gwen. Uh, really actually surprising. As we were talking about, we th I mean, I think that this lane should be uh, favored for CSC DH, but Poopy Worm's actually up in farm and they just got a kill. I mean, they, yeah, they, the Nano Ben went a little bit too hard, and Junior missed the Melio Q, so there wasn't a lot they could do to keep the Gwen off the Aphelios. 
And the Aphelios chose to conserve Flash, probably realizing that the uh, that one autumn leaf was there. Speaking of, or Ari Sexual was there. Speaking of one autumn leaf, actually, uh, we see a little bit of poke going down to Melodia. This could be a dive. Oh, oh my god, Earson goes in, manages to get a kill onto Melodia here with the Jax Q. They're going to be able to shove that wave in. Melodia, no teleport. He is going to be losing so much off of that. Uh, meanwhile, Kusho, a yeah, little bit of poke in the mid lane. Nothing much, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is horrible for the Garen. They're losing a, It's probably going to be... Okay, it's a cannon. They're going to lose the cannon in probably like three or four minions before they can get back there. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, now going to be down like a wave and a half most likely off of that. And yeah, no TP to get back. Meanwhile, I think the Jax can just take the reset and then walk to lane and still have the TP if they want to just trade into the Garen and then use that kind of as a... to leverage the health bar advantage. Um, we'll have to see. So, so far, I think that this lane, this game is going pretty well. Uh, I mean, I think that the bot lane should... Uh, or, Sorry, pretty well for CSUDH. I think that the bot lane sort of a disaster at this point. I mean, the Gwen getting that really early kill uh, really shouldn't be allowed. Uh, nice trading on the top side. Yeah, and they, uh, I, would, I would also... Oh, okay. Looks like Piney's going to be trying to go for a roam down bot, but he should get spotted out on Vision here, and they should back off correctly. Yep, we're seeing some pings go out. We're seeing them look at Piney. Uh, bot lane not going to be taken off guard again after what happened earlier. Yeah, I know we can see now Garen just kind of roaming around, maybe trying to look for something. Oh, going in on the level 6 all in, uh, immediately gets hit by the Lucent Binding, will just have to back off with a little bit of health shaved off for his trouble. Yep, and meanwhile bot lane crashing a massive wave, but since I was wrapping around, this could be the chance for Autumn Leaf to find something here. Also on the top side, here we go. Uh, looks like Last Tempest and Poopy Worm should be getting out pretty scot-free here, although this wave should get pushed in, and... Oh, Earson. Oh, no. Uh, he's got no vision. If They're, they're on the grubs right now, uh, Arisexual and uh, Piney, but if they go in on the Jax, he is just dead with no recurse. Yeah, Arisexual looking to go... Oh, no, Arisexual going back for camps. Yep, just trying to crash the wave now. Looks like they are going to take a reset. Um, I mean, I think that they had... Looks like they have a ward in their inventory, so maybe could have just, you know, ward hop into Flash, but... but yeah. yeah, looks like I we're going to... Looks like we're just going to be trading the Void Grubs for the Drake on the bottom side of the map here. Honestly, this is probably favored for Aphelios because he... Aphelios really likes having uh, Soul because he can just use their effects so well, especially with how much poke he has. So I think this is probably favored for uh, CCDH. Yeah, I mean, Ocean, Ocean Soul is providing a lot of value in these lanes to keep you healthy. Um, you Ocean know, Soul? Poke. Six minutes in? Ocean oh Soul? God. Yeah, the fastest Ocean Soul ever. Um, but yeah. Uh, Poopy Worm again, doing really, I mean, up about 10 CS right now in the bot lane. Uh, again, very impressive um, overall. As, as I said as I said earlier, Nana Ben just getting constantly poked out by these Karma Cubes. He's already half health. This Nelia is out of mana. Um, unless he gets some help here, he's just going to get shoved in quite a bit by this Gwen. Yeah, I mean, I think once they have control of the, the wave like that, it's just, yeah, it's hard to walk up because then the Karma Cube is there and waiting. As a, Yeah, I mean, oh my god, that is oppressive. Um... Whereas would, if, you know they had control yeah. and push. I would like to point out that we're seeing a couple of we're seeing a couple of big milestones here. Uh, both junglers, one on them, Leaf just hit. Oh my God! Last Tempest just going in. The Melio Shield just barely enough mana to stop him from dying. That ignite is gonna get is gonna go to waste. But they have to recall here, and that wave is not going to be taken by uh, uh, C CSU. -D. Oh my God! Poopy one. Oh, ghost onto the onto Nano Ben all the way under the turret. Oh my goodness! And that's gonna be the level six milestone I was talking about earlier. Junior also going down to the Gwen, but the Gwen should die here to this. Gwen no, does not oh my die. God. Gwen survives. This is incredible for UCSC. They are they have just come back on what is, what looked like their weakest lane. Uh, big man, big lift taking taking down low. One on him, leaf looking to get them both. Gwen getting shut down here by one on him, leaf on the Jin Zhao. Uh, he's just gonna see if he can go on the last tempest. Last tempest, no W now. Uh, could be in danger. Uh, he goes in, hits the W, but he already uses E. It's looking like he's gonna get out. Yep. Last ditch. Oh, uh, the... Last ditch duel from Jin Zhao, but it's not gonna hit. Yeah, I mean, does get the shutdown gold, so that's at least something for CSUDH. But again, yeah, the Aphelios losing the massive wave. No, about 25 CS down. That's not where you want to be. Meanwhile, uh, oh, fight no, the Earson. Oh, no, Earson. Oh, no, get out of there. That Garen has an R. He's going to merc you. Uh-oh. Oh, but looks like, uh, yeah, Milio is here. Jinian on the Milio. They could be trying to look for something, but again, Earson just is in just about in R range. QR will kill him, so has to be careful. 
uh, yeah, the wave is pushing away from Melodia. This is, this you know, is looking, this is looking pretty questionable for uh, CSU UD. Uh, SC. Yeah, uh, not the best position, that's for sure. Again, yeah, the wave is pushing away from Melodia, but yeah, just very slowly. <laughs> Yep. Uh, 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 Piney is ro roaming up though on the Tristana, so, uh, you know, uh, wait. Oh my God. He did get caught out on vision. Just to just just to be clear, he did get caught out on vision by uh, uh, CDDH. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, game's kind of slowing down a bit. We'll see what's uh, bot lane continuing just to have the push. I think yeah, probably the off the power of the Karma Q. And just, you know, being so far up off the Risk Maker. Going in right now, Melodia trying to find the kill. Our, our range does not, no, will find it. Uh, really nice tower dive, really clean from Melodia. Just kind of walked at him, and uh, yeah, Jax goes down. Meanwhile, Kusho getting in, uh, getting in, uh, shut down here. Has to flash away, but Arisexual with the Wukong will probably just be able to E on. Uh, we'll see, though. Oh, the Blast Cone is there. Can they get oh to it? God, Kusho gets out. Kusho gets the kill onto Arisexual. That is huge for them. Uh, he does have the teleport up, so that he's not going to be losing a lot of waves mid, but... Oh, that turret's... That turret looks like it's about to go down to Piney. Yeah, Piney's just chipping away at it with Tristana. Um, yeah, it looks like the wave has been crashed there for a little bit, so... Uh, looks like they're choosing to just not TP. Maybe they're... Yeah, I don't know what the turret uh, health we, is. Yep, uh, the ball. turret health oh, is yep. zero. I can tell you, the turret health <laughs> is zero. Um, Piney going to be on the back now, probably looking to get his first item. Uh, of note, no, Gwen here with the Rift Maker compared to the Aphelios' Noon Quiver. So, Nano Ben and Junior cannot take a fight now. They are going to get shredded if they try to fight this Gwen. Yeah, I mean, that Gwen is so strong. Uh, really, again, I, I'm amazed. You see, see bot lane this game just managed to turn up, I think, again, I think a matchup that should be losing into very winning. Uh, meanwhile, fight right now on the top side. Arisexual has to get out now on the Wukong, but is going to get picked up. Yurusin gets another kill onto Arisexual. Unfortunate, the Lux bindings just continue to hit the monkey, and yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Piney getting hit by losing biting, getting hit by the Counter Strike. Piney is going to be dead to Kusho again. Kusho hitting some incredible cues here. Uh, meanwhile, in bot lane, we're seeing the um, the needles from Gwen go out. Needle work not quite enough to. Oh my God, Mantra Q flash from Last Tempest. He's going to be killing the. He's going to be killing Nano Ben. Uh, they're looking to dive here, but I think Junior is too high on health. He does have the heal coming up in a second. So if they try to dive him, this could be a double kill for Junior. Yeah, this uh, is all. I mean, this is awful. The I, th I, mean, I think last I checked, it was like I was like looking a minute ago. Aphelios was at fifty five. Oh, is coming down. Mm -hmm. Tempest over, Tempest really overextended here. He's just going to be dying to Kusho on the on the roam here. Yep. Meanwhile, on the top side, Lucian on the Jax just continuing to you know kind of do do Jax things into Garen. The Garen slowly building up a lead. Arisexual looking for something on the Kusho. Uh, gets binded up again though. Uh, Kusho does have the ultimate, has to try to get away, and oh, Arisexual that's... is going to go down. Okay, that's going to be a no. kill onto Aphelios. Aphelios might be getting back in this game shortly if yeah. he can be getting back in the game. And oh. never mind, the Tristana is going to be shredding everyone to pieces. He's going to be behind them. Uh, that's going to be the Calibre multi out from uh, Nana Ben. Piney is going to get taken oh, down by no. Nana Ben. They're bringing the Aphelios back into this game at the cost of two kills onto the Tristana. Let's see if it's worth it. I mean, yeah, we'll have to see, but again, but, oh, never mind, there's just constant action right now. Ushin on the top side trying to fight the Garen, does have the Triforce, so probably just looking to take advantage of the spike, but I think Melodia should just get out. Uh, that's going to be, a, that's going to be a teleport from Kusho coming in. Uh, this is going to be what looks like a 3v3 bot, but uh, Kusho already with the ult back up compared to uh, Arisexual Cyclone and Gwen's Needlework, both not up right now. Uh, so uh, CSU DH is going to be up some ultis here. That's going to be a binding onto Last Tempest. Not going to be taking advantage of it. Poopy Worm going in has the ult. Uh, manages to flash by. Uh, dodge the uh, dodge the final spark from Lux. Last Tempest still going in on Nano Ben. Uh, Nano Ben does manage to dodge the first part of the Nantra Q. Gets hit by the second part. Uh, he's going to be chunked real low. He's not going to be rejoining this fight unless he wants to die to the. Oh, Poopy Worm on a great flank here. Oh, no. Let's see if they spot it. They don't spot it. Oh my God, that's going to be. Oh, Kusho does get out somehow with the uh, with the Lux root. Uh, but Poopy Worm does get one, and that's going to be Drake over to uh, UCSC here. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Probably should be, but yeah, the health bars are uh, really low. Pearson, go there. That's that's going to be that's going to be uh, four of them over there. Oh my God, Flash Q R. Uh, not R. Sorry, just the Flash Q E onto uh, Last Tempest. There is going to be a kill for Irison, but 
this yeah. might have, this might have gotten turned around. What on him, Leaf? Now back back at full health. Um, there's in shoving in the shoving and pining in the bot lane. Uh, this Lodia. Rough. I just want to highlight really quick it. that the the Felios was at about 59 CS uh, around 11 minutes, and uh, they are at 62 right now. Uh, to be fair, Peach Worm has not farmed at all either, but, you know, still... Yerson, Yerson, going in on three. Uh, Wukong Cyclone is going to be back up. He's going to take it. Oh, uh, my God. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just... Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for... I'm sorry for not commentating on that. I was just a little speechless that Jax survived there, but Jax somehow does survive what looks like the, the uh, Garen ult and manages to get out here. Oh, no. Will not quite manage to recall. Uh, it looks like... Um, CSUDH is going to be able to take the Drake here, probably off of Nano Ben and One Autumn Leaf. Uh, one Autumn, speaking of One Autumn Leaf, he's going to get hit by the Stride Breaker. Uh, he's going to get the ult off, but I don't think it's enough. That's going to be Gwen's Needlework coming back out. And, no, he does get out with the Flash. Yeah, it's just constant fighting on the bot side right now. Uh, you know, hey, people are just taking this, this, this skirmish, this skirmish for this second Drake has been going on for about three minutes now. Like, there have been, like, five different people dying. Everybody just keeps coming back and teleporting in. There's, and, okay, one on Leaf going on on Poopy Worm. Poopy Worm actually looking a little bit caught out here, uh, topside. Uh, nope, Last Tempest gonna uh, use Gwen the... is immune. Yeah, Gwen is very immune. Uh, yeah. Wow. No, I mean, I think, I mean, yeah, that fight was still going on even once the Drake had died. Uh, but now it looks like things are potentially ret returning to normalcy, though there are three people collapsing on the jacks in the top That's side. That's four people. So That's four. That's oh, that That's is everyone. Four. Uh, Irison, though, is playing jacks, does have the ward up, could just, is probably just gonna work you to get out of what is going on here? Irison, uh, ults into all of them, is gonna get taken down by Ari Sexual eventually. What, what was the thought process? He has a ward up. He could've just ward queued out. What? Uh, I think that, they got, you know, Jax wins those, uh, you know. But yeah, yeah. A anyway, it looks like it's going to be a Rift Herald over no to uh, UCSE here. No Maybe in exchange for the turret, but Nano Ben, uh, still not one, still not a full item. He's going to be a little bit behind here. Uh, Kusho, yeah, though, I think Kusho in the bot lane. Thank you. Uh, Kusho is going to be completely uncontested on this bot lane until Melodia arrives. So he's probably going to get a decent chunk of gold off of this. Oh, choosing just to back up, I think maybe, you know, doesn't want to get collapsed on by the, you know, Garen just kind of running and flash queuing you. And here so. we see Irison not there to contest it at all. Uh, Rift Herald's just going to go over at Ari Sexual, completely uncontested. Um, and we're just going to see oh, people clearing want? wards for now. I mean, next week, next week is up in two and a half minutes. So I'm expecting I'm expecting to see around a minute to Drake, maybe 30 seconds. They're going to be using the Rift Herald on one of the Tier 2 turrets. They're going to be pushing in with that, and then they're going to be going to Drake. Oh, never mind. Poopy Worm going in with the Needlework. Melodia with the Stride Breaker Q, and they are just... And uh, Nano Ben is just dead to Poopy Worm there. Uh, very caught out. No wards. Uh, well played by UCSE. Yeah, this Aphelios is having a very frustrating game, I would say. Just, you know, constantly just getting kind of chased down and not really able to function... It looks like just, you know, into this comp, maybe maybe overextending a little bit there, but, you know, yeah. Uh, it is it is rough, for sure, for CSUDH, but again, they, you know, as we were talking about, they definitely still have the range advantage. They have some scaling options, but uh, they are going to have all to... I mean, all the range in the world won't matter when Gwen is two items and very immune. Um, so th this is kind of, this is kind of uh, CSUDH's worst nightmare here where the gwen is very fed and the gwen could just kind of ignore everybody never mind gwen's gonna be stunned out by the qe from Jax. is gonna be going down here to the jin zhao everybody gets out uh huge gwen is them. not immune to damage i guess well you're next to <laughs> when so, yeah. when is when is, when is not immune, immune. when is not immune to checking shop while recalling it seems uh kusho yep. just gonna be ulting the wave making sure melodia can't get too much on this tier two turret here uh, we see Junior. No, Junior is going to recall. They're just going to let Melodia go here. Yep, Melodia is just kind of running away, uh, running and try to get to a safe recall. Yeah, again, one minute till Cloud Dragon. Um, you know, they did get the pick on the Poopy Worm, but it wasn't really when any objectives were up, so they're not going to be able to convert it into anything except for gold. So uh, I would yeah, just yeah, also... this Drake is if uh, CSUDH doesn't press tab and check items, they're going to be in for a very, very nasty surprise once this Drake comes up, because you see uh, Piney and Poopy Worm both on two items there. Uh, the two carries very, very fed here, and uh, that Tristana should should just be able to shred anyone if she gets a flank off, and 
I think enough yeah. enough has been said about how immune Gwen is, especially when she's very fed. Yeah, I mean, and at the end of the day, it is just one cloud dragon, so it's not like they need to take this. But I think, I mean, I'm expecting them just to fight for it. But they probably, you know, but maybe maybe they won't. Maybe they'll just try to look for something topside. Maybe just grab a turret. Yeah. It looks like looks like Melodia recognizing he doesn't have the teleport. He has to come down. He's probably gonna shove this mid wave and try to see if he can get a flank on an on an unsuspecting Aphelios. Uh, they are suspecting it though. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna be a teleport out from Yerson. There might be going five on the Garen, but he looks like he's gonna get out there. Uh, UCSE right, gonna be starting the bear, uh, the Drake here. Uh, just just keep in mind, Poopy Poopy there out of vision completely. They don't know where he is yet. Uh, he's gonna be spotted now by the by the Jex. Um, Poopy Worm going in with the needlework. Uh, Garen with the QE with the flash QE. Uh, Poopy Worm going in on Kusho. Kusho's gonna stop watch. Autumn Leaf gonna knock him up. Uh, Kusho dead there to Piney. Piney gonna be going in on one autumn leaf. Um, yep. Meanwhile, Earson versus Last Tempest in the bot lane. Uh, Last Tempest gonna get the kill there. Uh, Piney is gonna be going in. He's gonna get. Oh no, Piney actually not gonna get any of them. He's gonna accidentally misclick onto what looked like one autumn leaf with the W there instead of Junior. So they're just gonna be stuck there. But the Drake is probably gonna go to UCSC now. Yeah, and that was kind of an all over the place fight. <laughs> wow, uh, looks like UCS or CSUDH has to run all the way back to the fountain. But yeah, I mean the I mean it looked actually kind of good for CSUDH at the very very start, but then once Poopy Worm entered the fight, uh, it just I think so that really yeah, kind of went down the, problem, the real problem there was that Nano Ben, uh, it looked like he just got deleted from existence in the first few seconds of the fight with the Garen uh, Q flash, and uh, the Gwen needlework. Yeah. Uh, but you know. Could have could have been worse, you know. They could have gotten aced into a Baron, but you know, definitely could have been better. Uh, so yeah, um, looks like uh, UCSC is gonna get the dragon and now start to work towards this third item as well. Meanwhile, I mean, CSUDH still working towards the first, uh, second on a lot of people. Um, uh, so most is... notably, Kusho Kusho is not really gonna have any sort of any sort of item tempo for the next little while because he built Zanya's second item, so he's not gonna be dealing the most damage. And uh, Needlessly Large Rod is now part of the Zanya's build path, so he's going to be stuck on those items for quite a bit, and this might just be a free Baron if uh, UCSC can get themselves together and just go for it. Yep, summoning the Rift Herald mid, and they are zoning on basically all of CSUDH except for the Lux off of mid right now, so uh, they're trying to back, but uh, recalls Melodia, are canceled. Yep. Uh, Melodia and Last Ooh. Tempest trying to cancel recalls. Ari Sexual with the three-person Cyclone going to be going in behind them. Uh, one on leaf gonna be using the Jinzao, Poopy Worm on the Needlework, but it's not gonna be enough for any of them to survive. Um, one on leaf might actually get out here. He has the Blast Cone. Irsen gonna be going on to Poopy Worm, but it won't do anything. It's just a little bit of poke. And this should be a Baron call from UCSC. Yeah, that was a beautiful flank there from Arisexual. Finds three people, gets the knock up, uh, converts into two kills uh, onto the bot lane. So yeah, that should be a free Baron. There is an angle for Autumn Leaf to steal here. Uh, Lux ult comes out. Get Melodia going a little bit low. Piney getting chunked out a bit. Uh, they look like they're going to be going off the bear. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, okay. health, bars are, health bars are a little bit sus. So, you know, probably just wanted to take it, play it a little bit safe. Uh, they are about 6,000 gold up, so don't have to, like, stress too much. Definitely very they're... much in control of the game. But, yeah, I think, yeah, they, might, I think they might have been scared of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the Jack Salty coming out and just Jack shredding them all. Uh, meanwhile, Garen trying to do some bush cheesing, but not gonna, you know, be able to catch the Jax. Jax knows all the cheese. Meanwhile, Arisexual just doing a clear, and yeah, I mean, we'll see if they want to start the Baron up again. Oh, fighting the top side. Melodia should just get out here. He is Strybreaker. He is Garen Q. Uh, there is no chance for Jax to catch up there anymore. Yep, definitely very frustrating, and Garen can just kind of back up and regen all that damage that they took, so yeah. Frustrating matchup, yeah. Poopy Worm now just taking the chickens away from CSUDH on this Gwen. Uh, very strong. Um, hasn't really like accelerated too much since we, you know, since the bot domination. Uh, both, both actually, the, the CS for both of the laners has sort of stagnated, but that's to be expected of all the fighting going on. Uh, very bloody game. Yeah. One one thing worth noting here is um, Jax and Jin Zhao both on the uh, Sundered Sky. <laughs> Uh, here, which is an item that whenever, uh, every six seconds, whenever you attack someone, your attack will crit and you'll heal for a bit. 
Uh, in addition to the Melio, it might be time for UCSE to consider buying some anti-heal. They're going to be taking the tier two though. Just uh, no real, con no real contest because uh, they're three. Kusho's just one guy. Uh, speaking of three versus ones, Melodia three versus four. Melodia is going to be trying to get fine. out here when uh, everybody's over there. Uh, he does get hit by the Jin Zhao slow. Uh, he's going to be slowed down, but he's going to get out just barely. Ah, that's good. Uh, Junior fine. getting needleworked by Poopy Worm. Uh, is going to have to flash. Poopy Worm missing all three Needleworks. Uh, Irison doesn't get the E off. There's going to be a teleport from Kusho there. Uh, both teams looking to play around this Baron here. Yeah. Uh, uh. Maybe it looks like they might be trying to start it up. Uh, but, you know, that is mid-control for UCSC. Um, but they're kind of on opposite sides of the map, so I think they're going to be oh, forced this is, to Yeah, this is this is interesting. Uh, there's, it looks like this is going to be a free turret and an inhibitor. They can't they can't stop UCSC from taking this turret and inhib. Uh, they're all behind. They're all behind enemy lines, and they're also behind in the in the contest of how many inhibitors they have. Because they are now down and in end. Oh my God! Yeah, they're just gonna go for the endy. They're just gonna go for the turrets. Uh, Kusho's final spark gonna come out. Uh, Irson EQ gonna hit three. Cyclone coming in. Gwen coming in. Um, the Moonlight Vigil gonna come in. It's gonna hit all four of them, but it's uh, it's not the greatest. It's the uh, White Gun uh, Moonlight Vigil. Uh, forget what I just said. Nano Ben gonna take down uh, what looks like two of them. Huh. Oh, they're gonna keep. Was, pushing, uh... They're gonna keep pushing forward here. Uh, Calibron Q gonna miss onto Last Tempest, but I mean they did get the turret. Like if we, I don't know if we can get the. Uh, I don't know if we can get the uh, camera op to uh, pan back to the uh, red side nexus here, but if we could, I'd like to see just what health the uh, turret is at. Yeah, that's one half health nexus turret. If uh, with one more one fight, this game is just over, no matter what the wave state is. Yeah, I mean, I was actually a little surprised. I thought that they were maybe just going to try to even force it down, but it was sort of split. It looked like Piney was still hitting the turrets while everyone else was fighting, and I think, you know, if they would have... I think that maybe it was a little bit of indecisiveness coming in from UCSC there. Not quite sure what which one they wanted to go for. And Looks yeah, like... GDH going to convert into a dragon. But... Yeah, I mean, I think still UCSC though very much in control of the game, almost like. Almost uh, we can see some pings on the yeah, we can see some pings on the Baird here. You have Nano Ben and Junior recalling on bot side. Uh, that's gonna yeah, get teleported from Baron. Piney. That's gonna be a free Baron. They have no way to contest that. Autumn Leaf all the yeah, way I mean, on the bot side here. Yep, Baron Steak. Maybe Jax can do some weird Jax montage outplay, but nope, not gonna. There be is no 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 Jax montage today, my friend. No Jax montage today. Yeah, so that's going to be a Baron for UCSC, about 10, almost 10,000 gold up now. Uh, very strong. I think that they can probably just march on the base, uh, with, you know, maybe do send Garen to top side and just push the wave. Even, even just do a 1, th they could potentially even just do a one three one. I mean, Gwen also going to be very uncontestable on the side lane. So, yeah, and just let the Baron minions do their work. But, yeah. Uh, besides that, I mean, yeah, also, I mean, we can see for UCSC, they're also picking up three, uh, their third item power spikes now. Looks like the Gwen, you know, has the Rabidon's death cap, which, huge power spike, and on the, I mean, on the opposite side, Nano Benz is, oh, is gonna complete their second item, so it does have the IE now, so that's at least something. But, yeah, I mean, uh, do you see any opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, also, also I notice, like Kusho finally got their Zanyas completed, bridge. so they're gonna have some level of protection against the Ari Sexual Cyclone, but... It's not going to be much, especially with just how much all-in potential this comp has. Yeah, definitely not looking very good for CSUDH. They're going to have probably one more fight, one more team fight to try to, you know, make something happen, bring the game back. But it's just so difficult when the items are so heavily stacked against them by basically an, almost a full item on everyone except for, like, the junglers. I think I think on so, top of that, uh, one thing I'm noticing here is... Yerson, Yerson going in a little bit too hard on some of these kills. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, Garen oh, fails. No. Melodia fails the flash. He's going to get shut down here, but there's four in bot. This might not matter, actually. Uh, it's going to depend on one on a leaf being able to get back here. Yerson does have to teleport back to make sure they don't just end. Uh, Melodia does get shut down, though. That's going to be 40 seconds on the Garen, but there's no objectives up, so it doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, I mean, they do get that bottom in him now, so maybe it looks like they're transitioning now to try to get the top part of the map cleared out. Want to try to trouble in him. One Autumn Leaf trying to clear the wave, but now getting jumped on is about to die. Is going to just get deleted. Last Tempest picking up the kill. Final Spark going to come, Final Spark going to come out, but it doesn't really do any damage anymore, especially with just two items and no Rabadons. 
especially when it misses <laughs> most people as well. And uh, yeah, that's going to be an inhib. And I mean, I feel speaking like they can of, Speaking of no damage in. on ultimates that miss, Nano Ben going to be missing the uh, 